You know, this question of what is River Point Academy, it's always, it's been hard for us to answer. A project-based STEAM school that uses design thinking. And, and that's a lot of acronyms and sort of educational speak maybe uh, that describe it. But really, if you want to know the truth of what's behind this, is that we love kids up. It comes from this sort of ethic of care that we have here, and then nothing works without that. Okay, so you haven't figured it out yet. That's all right. Okay, I just check in. It's a Montessori thing, a follow the child. I mean, we have these things that we do with kids, and ultimately, it's their responsibility to start building. Oh, I don't. What am I passionate about? And then John and Regan, how can you help me? with this passion that I have, and then that's how we kind of build the, uh, the day around that. Here's your point of view statement. We're gonna generate a couple of these how might we questions on sticky notes. Plus, what if we did like personalized like merchandise? So what if you had cubicles, like work with your oh, personalized, personalized like office? We start out with skill incubators, they're called. It's really us sort of giving them projects to do, but those things are just tools for kids to learn how to use and eventually they are going to choose to use the tool that's appropriate for the project that they want to work on. They just don't come here. We just don't say, oh, go do something interesting. You just can't learn that way. This creativity only occurs because of the structure that we spent so long building, and it's time consuming to build that structure as well. It's sort of when somebody says, you make that look easy, I'm like, oh, thanks. Because right? anything you, that you make look easy, is there's a lot of hard work that goes in, into it. The interdisciplinary learning is extremely important here. You know, we don't have bells. We don't have our content separated. And that's why having these wide open spaces where kids can navigate from one to the area, it makes sense. Because out in the real world, like the problems that we're tackling, they're not separated by content. So to be able to get, have access to any of these spaces and the tools at any moment for their work is extremely important for what we, what we do here. It's more freeing. You have so many different opportunities. You can go around the school, you can try out everything else that everyone else is doing. You're not just um, put in this box and you have to stay in this box. I want to learn and experience new things and I want to be able to go out into the 21st century and get a job well and do things that make me happy. The first graduating class, it was terrifying for us because, you know, they had not had a textbook in in two years. A boy that was in uh, aerospace engineering, so this is all textbook the first two years, and he comes back and he goes, well I had my first test, and we're like, oh god, you know, he goes, what was it on? Oh, textbook stuff. We're like, uh, okay, and I go, how'd you do? He goes, oh, I got the highest grade in the class. I'm like, well, how'd you do that? And he goes, well, he goes, I just kind of figured it out, right? and that's what we teach here, is that. I'm just going to figure it out. Really, we're, we're teaching kids how to learn, I guess. I mean, that's really the big thing.